Hey guys, welcome back to opening Digimon boosters here on the backlog, or I guess it's full name, Frozen's backlog. My backlog, because you can make your own. <laughs> you can do it yourself. I mean, literally, my content is so basic, you can do it yourself. As long as you have the money, I guess, which is the one thing I've got over you, viewer, I guess. <laughs> it depends on what viewer you are. You may just have, like, more shit than I do. And therefore, you could do this with your hands tied behind your back, but, you know. I tied my hands behind my penis, so <laughs> I'm doing it even worse. Anyway, we're back here to open some more Next Adventure Booster Packs. And as you can see, you can actually read the card art, or you can look at the card art, and you can also read the text on there. I kind of got a little bit of a weird setup, so pretty much everything else here is normal. I changed it from autofocus just to regular focus, so... A little, everything else back here is a little bit out of focus, but the card itself is fine. And in order to get the lighting a bit better, I waited till day. The sad thing is, the day after I recorded the last one, it's raining all day, which is great for going out, not great for recording. So, I've set my phone all the way over there on the other side of the couch with its, uh, like, flashlight on. So, I've kind of got, like, a room light in a way... It's just what we're going to have to deal with. But yeah, just decided to test that with Waymon since that card had a lot of text on it. So therefore, we could test it even better. But now it's time for us to keep going. And I think I can just... Oh yeah, my I ripped up the last one. I need to save one. Because last episode I wasn't able to save a pack. I kind of fucked it up twice. I keep on fucking this up. I guess it's just some kind of like bad luck with these packs and me. It's just like, I can't take the cards out of the pack without ripping the entire thing sh to shreds for some reason. I don't know why, I just am having very bad luck with them. As long as you can save the front side, I'd say it's pretty much, you know, like, it doesn't matter. The back side only gets looked at, like, if somebody were to open it out of its casing. Alright, that's not bad. I pretty much saved it, so... <laughs> I pretty much saved it. Knocks the thing off its thing. Great. I'm the best. Pretty much saved. The only thing that kind of ripped was kind of the bottom. Actually, the only thing that really ripped is right here. And you can barely tell that it's ripped. The only way you can tell it's ripped is if you look at it with it away from itself. So, eh, pretty much saved a pack. That's good because I wanted to save it anyway. Anyway. Let's put up the cards, and now you can actually read them on your own. But if you want me to read them to you in my silky, deep voice... Some people tell me my voice is deep, but to me, I just don't hear it. Like, when I go back and listen to it on uh, tape, like, yeah, it's kind of deep, but my voice isn't that deep. Like, me trying to do Elvis, like, you know, when I was younger, when I first got my deeper voice, my, like, grandparents were always like, try and do Elvis, and I, could, I just could never do it. I think it's because Elvis's voice type is more, like, smooth, while mine is more brass. So, just one of those things. A little story that, like, I always try and do uh, Blue Christmas, and I just can't do it. Oh, 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 do, 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 do. Christmas without you. I don't know how good that was, but I just don't hear it. So, anyway... Namon, we already saw him last episode. Put him down here. Got another Gigasmon. And as always, if it's a card we've seen last time, we're going to skip over it and just recommend that you read it from the last episode. So another Orochimon. This is a new card. We got ourselves Gatsumon, like, snoring right next to Pumpmon. <laughs> Interesting art. I don't think I've ever seen this artist before. Oh god, I'm dying. That's what you get going out to lunch, and then you wait around for a couple hours for your stomach to settle. And it just doesn't. So, it says, As Marine, or As Maria. I guess it's some kind of, like, English artist? I don't know, but it's very different art. Not great art, but it's a very different kind of art. And we got Gatsuman, and his ability says, On play, you may reveal one... Green Digimon card from your hand. If you do, place it on top of your deck. I don't know the situation in which that would be good. Unless there's some card that lets you play a card without memory cost right off the top of your deck. 
but I really don't see a point in that. Or, well, it could work well with a card we got earlier, Mame Tyramon, this card. Uh, just because this card has something to do about placing a Mega right on top of it without memory costs. So if you were to place a green Digimon in your hand, and that would be a level 6, you could technically activate its ability that way. So I see an area in which it could work, but I'm not sure if it would be great. We got ourselves King Waymon. This is a newer Waymon, and... He's a lot cooler looking. He showed up in Adventure 2020. Kind of had to do the same thing that Waymon did, but just differently. Or maybe that was that weird turtle. I don't know. It's been a while since I saw 2020. I really need to finish it. I just don't have the uh, the motivation to do so. Anyway, he's a Mega whose ability says, When attacking, you may play one level 3 card or one Waymon from this... Digimon's Digivolution cards as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. You could multiply your Waymons, I guess, and it's just win attacking. So if you can unsuspend them, you might be able to do it two, two times a turn. And it says, your turn. When you play a Digimon from one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards, return one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to its hand. Trash all Digivolution cards. That's not a bad ability. That's actually a pretty good ability since you can trigger it on your own, so... Eh, I'd say it's worth it. Not an amazing art, but it's definitely something. Ooh. That is, uh... So one thing that kind of got... Kind of weird with uh, Frontiers is that... Uh, so there was uh, the Human Spirit, the Beast Spirit, and then the Ancient Spirits, and then there were, like, Kaiser Greymon and uh, Magna Garurumon. But along with that was the Hybrid Spirits, which was, like, you know, putting... A Goonimon and Burning Greymon together to create Aldemon. There were versions of that for every, like, main... Like, everybody. The problem was is that they were never showed off. So, this is a Digimon called Jet Sylphemon, which was the fusion between Shutsmon slash Zephyrmon and Fairymon slash Kazemon. And there exists stuff like that as well. There's uh, Rhino Kabuterimon. There's, a uh, What's it called? Daphine Mon? It was a giant, like, what's it called? It was a giant, what's it called? It was a giant, uh, penguin with ice cream, like, popsicles for hands and a weird churn for its head. Very, very weird design. But those things existed but just never got screen time because they only really did Beowulf Mon and Aldemon, which are cool looking Digimon, but I really wish that we got some, like, other stuff. But they probably didn't want to use it just because it was kind of near the end of the series that they pulled out Beowulf, Mon, and Aldemon. So, eh. There was a little, just a little bit of, you know, potential that wasn't executed. There was a lot of potential in Frontiers that just wasn't executed right, but that's my opinion. Anyway, it says for Ultra Turbulence, yeah, it says main one of your opponent's Digimon and all of your opponent's security Digimon get negative 3,000 for the turn, and security says add it to the owner's hand. That's not a bad ability, I would say, since it would make all security Digimon, like, dog shit. So really, you could start, like, trying to make a security plus one attacker with an ultimate and be a little bit safer. So, not a bad card. Interesting to even see her on a card. Oh, we got another one. Let me place that. This was the uh, the fusion between Loemon and Kaiser Leomon that never really got to see the light of day. I think it's it's not Ancient Spinxmon. That's the ancient form. I don't remember what this one is even called, but who knows? Maybe we'll see it when we're opening all these packs. Maybe. That's a, that's a maybe. Anyway, it says, For Schwarz Le Lezatz. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I, that just says Schwarz. Not Schwartz, it says Schwarz. Anyway, its main effect says, For each Digimon with hybrid in its traits and each tamer you have in play, delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. And then security just activate the effect. That's pretty good, since hybrid decks will be running hybrids, but then again, would you really be running Kaiser, Loe, Leomon, and Loemon? I highly doubt it. But interesting card nonetheless. Oh, come on. Oh. It's another, it's one of those, yep, that's, that's the thing I was talking about. The stupid penguin with popsicle sticks. 
Daipenmon. He's a weird looking guy. I never liked his design. He really doesn't look like a good fusion between Kumamon and uh, uh, Kori Kakumon. He looks nothing like it. Like Aldamon and Burning Greymon and Agunimon, they look similar. Beowulfmon and uh, Garmmon and Lobomon. Garmmon is what they call Kendogururumon in uh, Japan. They look like fusions. Even like, you know, Jet Sulfimon, Shutsmon, and Kazemon look like fusions. Even Rhino Kabuterimon kind of makes some sense. This guy looks like neither and looks extremely dumb, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. This is what you get stuck with, motherfuckers. The ancient version of the Ice One sucks too, so get ready for massive suckage with this fucker. Anyway, Daipenmon's ability says, When digivolving for each Digimon your opponent has with no Digimon cards or Digivolution cards, Draw one. Not bad, but it really needs setup. Then opponent's turn, while a card with hybrid in its traits is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, none of your opponent's level 3 Digimon can attack. I mean, definitely you would be able to lock down a rookie rushdown. Because if somebody's just placing rookies onto the field and not caring and just attacking with them, this card could definitely lock them, but it's just such a dumb card, I don't think you'd ever use it. So, that's a problem. Anyway, we got Bukamon. <laughs> Bukamon's like, you know, hanging out in a kiddie pool with Peachymon and a little toy of Penguinmon. Interesting. It's kind of cute art, but why are they just hanging out in a kiddie pool? Do kiddie pools exist in the digital world? Anyway, it's inherited says, Your turn once per turn, when you would play a Digimon from one of your Digivolution cards, gain one memory. Not bad, but situational in the same way. It's like a rainbow. It's a double rainbow all the way. Now we got ourselves... Actually, I learned uh, there's Alphamon in this, so I do have a different target other than uh, Shutsmon and Kazemon. I <laughs> we need to get ourselves an Alphamon, but uh sad thing is that it's a secret rare, which is, uh, you know, means it's extremely rare, and we're probably not going to get it, but who knows? We have so many packs. You got to believe in us. You believe in the me that believes in me. That makes no sense. Anyway, we got ourselves Duru Greymon. And this card had to be limited. It's one of the few limited cards in the Digimon card game. You can only play like one to two, I think. At least in the English format. So, it, this is pretty overpowered, but I haven't ever re read the effect. So, let's see. When Digivolving, you may place one black card with X antibody and its traits from your hand at the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards to prevent effects from deleting or reducing its DP. Until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it's kind of like... It prevents destruction by making itself even stronger. Because as you know, the uh, the Alphamon line is all about putting more cards under it. So this is actually OP in a way. But it's only when digivolving. So it pretty much saves yourself for your turn and their turn. So I wonder what people were doing to make it so OP. I want to figure it out. Anyway, its inheritance says, Well, this Digimon has X anti-binance traits, it gains security attack plus one. So, have a bunch of Doro Greymons in your hand, and you're saving yourself from destruction. Now you've got, like, attack security plus five. So, that is kind of OP. So, I would say that the inheritable, I think it's a pretty good card in both settings. So, oh, why did we get every single part of... We have almost every single part of the Kumamon line except for its beast, which is the one I like. I like Korikakumon. I don't like fucking Ancient Megatheriumon. I thought it was Mojinamon or whatever, fuck. Anyway, this is the Ancient Spirit of Ice, the Ancient Warrior. Now I have uh, fucking Ancient Gururumon and Ancient this fucker. Oh boy, so isn't that great? We now have the fucking buffalo <laughs> buffalo fuck farts we don't talk about buffalo fuck farts my favorite band how could you do this to my favorite band buffalo fuck farts that's what they should have called uh abgn's band instead of rex viper because rex viper is gay but that's just my opinion and it's true <laughs> anyway ancient megatheriumon which is a mouthful of a name says when digivolving, for each card with hybrid in its traits in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, trash one Digivolution card from the bottom of each year to punish Digimon. 
Then for each Digimon your opponent has with no Digivolution cards, draw two. Pretty good effect, but then again, most cards use Digivolution, so you're gonna have to find a way to start milling their Digivolution cards. Then it has an on-deletion effect. You may play one blue, level four, or lower cost with hybrid. It straights from your hand without paying memory costs, so not a bad Mega, knowing that it has a 13,000 DP, which means it won't be killed by many other Megas, since usually the highest will be uh, 13,000 for Megas. If you want to get, like, 15,000, you have to be at level 7, which would be Ultras, otherwise known as Super Megas, so you have to go a little bit higher. Not a bad card, but just a strange that I got them all in one pack, or at least Daphnemon and this thing. Anyway... Last card is Takuya Kenbara, the Goggles of Frontiers. Pretty much along with Tommy, it's one of those ones that can evolve. It says, for security, play this card without memory costs, then main once per turn. You may place five cards with hybrid in their traits from your trash under this tamer in order to digivolve it into a Emperor Greymon, or as I think the name would be cooler, Kaiser Greymon. In your hand, for its evolution cost, as this tamer is a, as if this tamer is a level five red Digimon, so that's pretty good to get yourself an Emperor slash Kaiser Greymon. Problem is we don't got that, but eh, who knows? We might be able to get one. Then it says your turn. This Digimon gains plus two thousand DP, uh, just straight. And then while this Digimon has ten thousand DP or more, it gains Security Attack plus one. Not a bad ability, but then again, it's kind of just meant for Kaiser Greymon, so without it, you'd be a little bit fucked. Anyway, let's do some opening. Oh, oh, oh it's slippery. Oh, it's slippery. Oh, I fought the slippery, man. Oh. Anyway, you know me. I love making noises when I open Digimon cards. That sounds weird out of context, and it sounds weird in context. Why does everything I say sound sus, man? I'm just a fucking idiot half the time. All right. Let's go ahead and place this down. We got ourselves a Digiman. We got ourselves another Pulsemon evolution. We've got Boutmon. I think it's the uh, evolution of, like, Pulsemon's main champion. That big, buff, fucking dinosaur-looking dude. This is its uh, ultimate, I believe. So it's, like, him... I wonder what Digimon... That might be a Goonimon in the front with, like, yellow hair... Uh, shoulder pads and stuff, but Boutmon's like getting ready to fucking kick his ass in. And for his inheritable, it says, Opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon attacks a player, if you have three or more security cards, unsuspend this Digimon. So, it has to be attack a player, and then it would unsuspend itself. Really, you would want its Mega to have Blocker from that then. Because that's not a once per turn, which means... If you have a Mega using that, and it has Blocker, you can unsuspend itself to defend your entire security stack. That would actually be pretty OP, but pretty hard to pull off, so. Interesting strategy I just came up with. Got myself a Shellmon, hanging out with Gomamon on the beach. It's another Koki card, because I always complain about that, because I am, I am never, ever satisfied. I always remember... Here on the backlog, never be satisfied. Always ask for more. Always get into massive amounts of debt to buy Digimon cards. I wonder if you guys ever listen to my advice. You, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> you probably shouldn't. Anyway, this card has no effect or inheritable, so... Nah. Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a pretty fucking... A pretty meta card in hybrid decks. And it's just... It's only a common. Bokomon has been used a lot in hybrid decks. So its ability says, on play... Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one hybrid or ten warriors in its traits, and add one tamer among them to your hand. Place the remaining at the bottom of the deck in any order. And then your turn, once per turn, when one of your tamer digivolves, gain two memories. So you can see from there, searching for a tamer and a hybrid is great in hybrid decks, and then just getting memory out of digivolving, which is what you're supposed to be doing. Pretty fucking good. All right. I'm going to probably try and get, like, a bunch of those Bokomon cards. Anyway, Triceramon eating grass. Oh, well, now we got every part of the hybrid. <laughs> Man, they really wanted me to have Kori Kakumon. They wanted me to have the entire uh, Kumamon line, even though that's not the line I want. So, uh, I'm pissed. <laughs> anyway, we got Kori Kakumon, my favorite out of the Ice Warriors. And it says you may Digivolve this Digimon from your hand onto one of your blue Tamers, as if the Tamer is a level 3 
for memory cost of two. It says, when digivolving, if a card with hybrid in its traits or Tommy Himi is in this digivolution cards, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon with no digivolution cards can't attack or block until the end of their next turn. Kind of a boring ability, but you should be like mixing it up with like Kumamon and Doppinmon and Mega Thuriathmon or whatever to like use its abilities the best. So I like the art though. He's kind of just like attacking nothing, which is me in real life. Oh, well, now we got ourselves another part of the Legendary Warriors. We've got Loemon. You should know this from, uh, you know, Frontiers. I thought he was maybe his hybrid one since I saw the shield, but no, that's just regular Loemon. So it's kind of hard to see him, but this is Loemon, and that's just Ancient Sphinxmon's face for some reason. So Loemon's ability says you may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your purple tamers as if the tamer is a level 3 purple Digimon. Not a great ability, but then again, it's not a card that many people use. I wish it had a better ability. That kind of basic art as well. All right, we got ourselves Philmon, or Philmon? Not quite sure how to pronounce it, but that's the champion level of Harassment Mon. Good old Harassment Mon. We've got Rossin Mon. We got its, uh, what's it called? It's in training. I don't think I have a single, like, rookie from it. The actual Harassment Mon, so. I'm really... As you can see through these videos, I'm, like, trying to complete Digivolution lines, really. So, I'm a very, very basic man. So, anyway, his effect says, Digiburst main uh, for two. One of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack negative two until the end of your opponent's turn. Kind of a basic effect, but also might be helpful in stalling. So, eh, not bad. Interesting art, though. He's just attacking into white space. Seems like there should be, like, you know, something out there he's attacking, but... Mm. Ooh, this is kind of important. I just saw... I think I've talked about it on opening videos before, but I just saw... Uh, what's it called? L Last Evolution Kienzon. Not Lost Evolution. That's still a game I'm fucking waiting for. But uh, Eosmon was, like, the uh, the main villain of it. So it's cool that we have a card of it. Eosmon's, like... Archetype in the uh, the card game is kind of like Diaboromon. It loves to multiply itself. Just because that's what it did in the movie. So, Eosmon Mega Levels ability says, All turns, all of your other Eosmon gain plus 1,000 DP. And then on deletion, you may play one level 5 or lower Eosmon from your hand without paying its memory cost. So, just more of that multiplication ability. But it's got a really cool art. I wish that was foil, but really it's ability is kind of lackluster so interesting what we get up next oh god my fucking i'm really itchy i'm a itchy boy just thought i'd tell you inform you on that we've got ourselves starlight velocity being the option card of magna gururumon it's always a big toss-up between magna gururumon and kaiser Greymon. i like them both they have both really good designs anyway starlight velocity's ability says you may play one tamer or one digimon card with hybrid in its traits from one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards as a tamer or another Digimon without paying its cost. Oh, okay. So you can do the thing that most blue cards do anyway, just for a... You can do it for a tamer in case you need to reapply a tamer. Which could be good. Could be good. And its security says you may play one Koji Minamoto from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. I'd care more, more about the trash thing. And then just playing it from your hand. Because getting something out of your trash is a good thing. Alright, what's up next? Oh, we skipped the card, but we're... Uh, let's see. I'm going to throw this back on real quick. Uh, and we'll just get back to that one. That's a good card we got, though. But we got Avenge Kidmon. So, Kidmon is one of the three Musketeers, along with Bell Starmon and Gundramon. He's the third musketeer that I just never remember the name of. But this isn't... Is Avenge Kidmon the version of it? Or is Avenge Kidmon, like, the evolution? Because I remember Kidmon being its, like, name. So, I don't know what this one is, but it's a pretty fucking cool art. He's got his hand, like... Or his gun hand, like, firing or something? I don't know. He's got this fucked up face. It's a pretty cool card. And then it says for its ability when you would play this card from your hand reduce its memory by one for each option card in you and your opponent's trashes 
Very option-heavy card, I guess. Then on play, return all cards with three Musketeers in their traits and all option cards from both players' trashes to the bottom of their owner's decks. If you have seven or more cards that are returned by this effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with three Musketeers in its traits or DP 8,000 or less. So you can kill if they're running... If they are running Musketeers? That would be kind of very specific. But then again, Avenge Kidmon isn't part of the three Musketeers. It just says Dragonkin. So I don't think Avenge Kidmon is supposed to be part of the Musketeers. I think it's meant to be an anti-Musketeers card. So, interesting. Anyway, we'll see the card that we accidentally spoiled because I accidentally ripped it off. It was Zoe Orimoto being the uh, the tamer, quote-unquote, that goes into Kazemon and stuff. Let's see what Zoe's ability says. It says, for security, you may play this card without memory cost. Then on play, you may search your security stack for one hybrid or ten legendary warriors in their traits. Reveal it and add it to your deck. If you added a card or added to your hand, if you added a card to your hand, security attack plus one. Then shuffle or uh, recovery plus one. Then shuffle your security stack. So that's pretty good for just yellow in general. But you have to be running a hybrid for this. And then it's inheritable says. Opponent's turn, all your security Digimon get plus 3,000. Kind of the reverse of the option card that goes with her, so. Interesting. Anyway, let's see what's behind. Ooh. I don't know. That seems like an alternative art. We've got Betamon. I guess alternative art. I'm feeling it up. It's definitely meant to be something a little bit more special than most cards. But anyway, Betamon, who's just hanging out with Koromon attacking... Or no, there's like a V-Pet down here. So I guess they're coming out of the V-Pet. So, and there's a Botamon right behind them. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, its ability says, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one green level four Digimon card or one green Tamer among them to your hand. Place the rest of the remaining at the bottom of the deck in any order. I mean, searchers are good, but I think the art looks really, really nice. So, I think the art's better than what the ability was going to give us. So, that's just me. I'm a very... I am, what do you call that? Very shallow. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, very shallow. <laughs> anyway, let's open another one. Uh, oh no, we're watching Greymon's wing get ripped off. Isn't that quite sad? Isn't that quite sad? I keep on knocking this. She's like, uh, you want to see the thing go back and forth? Well, this is the episode in which you can stare at the thing go back and forth. All right. So, we got ourselves at first a option card with Waymon on it and it's called Tidal Wave it's like Waymon screaming at us for you know calling him stupid <laughs> anyway its effect says choose up to two Digimon cards in the dilution cards of one of your Digimon and play them as other Digimon without paying their cost and then just activate the effect that might be worth it since blue is usually meant to be around doing that but for seven memory, might be a bit high of a cost. Might be a bit too high. All right, got ourselves another warrior. We got ourselves Metal Kabuterimon, whose name is a lot like the, uh, a lot like uh, Kendall Gururumon and Burning Greymon. Its name is not uh, Me Metal Kabuterimon in the uh, Japanese version, even though I think that name is so much cooler. Its name is like Bulgmon. Yeah, Bulgamon. Almost Bulgemon, but it uses an O. That name is really, really dumb, and I think Metal Kabuterimon's a much better name. And he is my favorite out of the, uh, the Beetlemon line. So, you know, my favorite one getting its name fucked up? Yeah. I think even, even, even Cory Kakumon's got that messed up. He's named after uh, Ikakumon. His name is like Blizzarmon. So, just all the cool names... Are just, they, they get rid I get angry. I think even Kaiser Leomon's name is not the same in Japan. I think it's like Kaiser Loemon. So they just wanted to reference a bunch of old Digimon and then, like, <laughs> the Japanese do not. Anyway, Kabuter Metal Kabuterimon's ability says you may digivolve this card into one of your green tamers for memory cost of two, like usual. Then when digivolving, this card. Uh, if a card with hybrid in its traits or JP uh, Shibayama is in this Digimon's Digivolution card, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon with eight th with 6,000 DP or less. Might be useful for, like, instantly attacking, like, a random 
like champion i guess some ultimates are even at 6000 but they're more for effects anyway so <laughs> not bad but another one where i like the card art a lot more all right what should we got next brave metal i actually have this card i have the alternative version of this art from a uh from like a promotional pack this is brave metal it shows dorogoramon attacking uh the transcendent sword I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it has something to do with Chronicles. Like, the Doramon from that turned into Doragoramon before Alphamon to fight Omegamon. So, who knows? But anyway, his ability says main. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of six or less. If you have a Digimon with five or more Digilution cards and X Antibody Ants traits, you may delete one of your opponent's Digimon without X Antibody Ants traits instead. Hmm? So it, what? So just delete somebody with a six or less. And then the other ability just says you can delete an X antibody. So, or something without the X antibody. So the X antibody would protect you against that. So interesting. Then it's security just says activate it. So not a bad card. Definitely the alternative art looks cooler though. So anyway, uh, throw that over there. It's another Boutmon. We already saw that one. All right, we got ourselves a new one. We got Windigo Mon literally snapping. I know, I know, it's not that easy to see, but it's Windigo Mon snapping like the staff of Angemon and just, or maybe that's supposed to be Pedo Mon. I don't know, but it's just stuck on the ground, dying now. So that's pretty metal. Anyway, its ability says, when digivolving, you may reveal a top five card to your deck. Trash all tamers among them. Place the remaining at the bottom of the deck in any order. I mean, not a bad ability, because you can target multiple cards for that ability, and you might be able to use something to bring them out of the trash, but definitely something a little bit more niche. Then it says for its inheritable, your turn once per turn, when you play a tamer, draw one card. So that that's actually pretty good. I just wish it wasn't a one turn, but then again, I think that would make it too overpowered. But this is a pretty metal card just to see, like, Pedomon get fucking murdered. Alright, we've already seen Giga Storm. It was like the first card we showed off in the first episode, so we'll move on. Uh, we've already seen Triceramon. This is something different. This is the ultimate level of harassment, Mon. It's Stephilmon. So, he looks pretty fucking cool. A lot of spikes. Not as cool as Ross and Mon, but pretty close. Just because, you know, he goes up to him. Anyway, it says for Stephilmon, I don't know if I say his name correctly, but... When Digivolving, if a Digimon has one Digivolution card, you may place up to two level four or lower yellow Digimon cards from your hand at the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards in any order. Then draw one for each Digimon you placed. So, if there is, if this Digimon has one Digivolution card, so that means you can make it have cards underneath it. So, that's not bad. It, it, it's a very, like you know, specific situation where you've played, like, a champion, like, straight out, and just have an ultimate in your hand, so, and just happen to not place out the rookies first, so, a little bit of a memory hog, but not bad, I guess. Anyway, it's Inheritable says, when this card is trashed due to activating this Digimon's Digiburst, so, the Ross and Mon's Digiburst, one of your Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn, so, Rossinmon could gain security attack from that, so not bad. All right, let's see what we got up next. All right, we got ourselves a Gomamon. Very, he's very head heavy, I could tell you that. His head is very big. Also, my head is really itch and makes me want to scratch it, which then results in me hitting the camera. So, it's just Gomamon swimming around with a bunch of fish. I think maybe that might be a Waymon, way in the background, shadow-wise. I guess this could be like the underwater city from Redigitize. Just kind of coming up with references that I can, you know, guess at. Anyway, Gomamon's ability says, on play, when played from a Digivolution card, draw two. Pretty good effect, since you're kind of not going to be attacking with this. Sadly, the Inheritable is nothing. So, that draw two, though, could save your life. So, not bad. Oh, I keep on doing that. Anyway, let's look at this one. Throw this down somewhere, right over there. Anyway, we've got Pride Memory Boost, which uses the Dark Nightmon uh, Digimon just to show off. But I don't think Dark Nightmon came out until Cross Encounter, so they were really planning out like using these cards, weren't they? 
So Pride Memory Boost's ability says, Main, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one black Digimon with a play cost of four among them without paying the cost. Trash remaining cards, then place this card in your battle area. Not bad to play just like a free uh, level, f like anything for level four or just for four memory, but it already costs four memory to play. So it would really be a good idea to, if you want to play a card, just use this card instead just to play a random one anyway. So then it has the delay effect that every card has and the security effect of just placing it into the battle area. Really, all memory boosts will have that same two parts. Just the first part gets changed. So enter resting. Anyway, we saw this one a little bit too early, but, you know, we'll read it. Anyway, we got Flame Mon. Flame Mon and uh, Stravi Mon, along with Ko, uh, Ko Kabuteri Mon, are all Digimon that kind of share the spot of, oh, we're the rookie levels of the Warriors, but just never really showed up other than Flame Mon in the series. Because Flame Mon showed up when Takuya tried to go back to the real world, and... <laughs> he turned into Flame Mon and got stuck there for a bit till coming back. So the rest of them really didn't show up, but they are cool looking Digimon that just never got the love they needed. So anyway, Flame Mon is just kind of running in front of like a fire picture of a Goonie Mon. So just showing that I will become that next, I guess. So anyway, Flame Mon's ability says on play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one card with hybridants named Susano Mon or Takuya Kanbara. Among them to your hand, place the remaining at the bottom of your deck in any order. Not a bad ability for four, for three, even cheaper. And then its DP of 100 kind of sucks, but then again, you're probably going to try and be aiming for like an Aguni Mon or a Burning Gray Mon to try and get out of this card as quick as possible, so. Pretty good card. Along with the Inheritive saying, on deletion, you may play one Takuya Kanbara from your hand without paying its memory cost. So. If you could turn this into a Goonimon and then crash it, pretty good ability. So, let's see what's the last card for the pack. Ooh, well, that's kind of good. It's another super rare. We got ourselves Cherubimon. So now we have almost all parts of the Lotmon line that have been kind of around. We just need Antilamon to finish it off. But he's the main villain, or the first main villain of uh, Frontiers. So I'm guessing that's why that card was included in this pack. So anyway... Its ability reads, when Digivolving, you may play one Purple Tamer card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Then for each Tamer you have in play, delete one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. Then on deletion, for each Tamer you have in play, you may play one level 3 uh, card from your trash without paying its uh, memory cost. So you could play like a ton of cards out after killing this thing. Not a bad card, but then again, I can't really find many applications in which its main ability would be, you know worth something so i think we've reached the time for today just checking over yep that seems like we've reached about that time so thanks for sticking around and opening some packs with me and we've still got a lot more left so next time on opening digimon booster boxes we're going to go ahead and go into more of these so i'll see you guys next time